Hello, Business 270 students. This is Professor Hassey speaking live in color this Thursday. Uh, what's the date today? November 2nd uh, of, of our class, November 3rd, excuse me, uh, to speaking to you from my hotel room in the Midwest where I am now. Uh, and I wanted to update a video for you all uh, to make sure you uh, have received our quiz that is due in class on Monday. And let me just go over a couple of things about the quiz just to make sure you are we're all on the same page and what I'm looking for <clears throat> in the answers. Again, this quiz is take, taking talking about probability distribution, chapters five and six, and sampling definitions from chapter eight. And it is due to bring into class on Monday, November 7th, uh, into our classroom. Do not post this. You do not have to post this to Blackboard. You do not have to email me your work. <coughs> Excuse me. You can just put, bring it to class, print out your work. If you want to give me a file off a of flash drive on in class on Monday, that's fine too. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, But I want you to bring the work into class on Monday. So let's take a look at what this uh, what this quiz is all about. Again, this is fairly same, similar format, format to our prior quizzes and also our midterm examination, where I give you a combination of, of, of fill in, the, provide some information, do a calculation, give me some definitions. So that's what I'm looking through here. The first part, the first question involves chapter six, probability distributions. An auditor for a health maintenance services of Michigan reports 40% of the policyholders 55 years or older submit a claim for health services every year. 15 po policy holders are randomly selected for the company record. So again, they say that 15 policy holders of 55 years or older have submitted and they've did, done a random sample of these 15 pol policy holders. And the ma maintenance service says that 40% of those are older than 55 years old that have submitted a claim this year. So I ask you three questions concerning that information. How many policyholders would you expect to have filed a claim within the last year? How many policyholders would you expect to have a claim during the last year? That's the 15 policyholders that are randomly selected. How many do you think of those would have filed a claim? Question B, what is the probability that 10 of the selected policyholders submitted a claim last year? So of the 15 policyholders, what is the probability percentage that 10 submitted a claim last year? And what finally in question C, what is the probability that 10 or more, that's the difference between question B and C, 10 or more, have, have selected or have filed a claim in the last year. So, so three answers I'm looking for, all telling me about the taking the information of 40% of 55 years older submitted a claim for this company. They select a random sample of 15. And I want you to answer those three questions. All that information is in is in a combination of chapter in chapter six of your textbook. Question number two is from chapter five of your textbook, chapter five. In a management trainee program at Claremont Enterprises, 80% of the trainees are female and 20% are male, 80-20 in a management training program at a company. 90% of the females attend college and 78% of the males attend college. So of the 80% trainees that are female, 90% of them attended college or attend college. Of the 20% of the trainees, 78% of the males attend college. So answer these two questions. A management trainee is selected at random. What is the probability that the person selected is a female who did not attend college? Okay, 
what is the probability that the person selected is a female who did not attend college? And B, are gender and attending college independent? Is in the distribution or the information given to you this, are gender and attending college separate, independent? Why? If they're not, why? If they are, why? Again, this is from chapter five in your check in your textbook, chapter six and chapter five. Part three is from chapter eight. All right. It's each each multiple choice question here is worth five points. And these are re in regards to the definitions described in the first 10 pages of the textbook and what we talked about a little bit on Monday. So go through these and their definitions. If you get stuck, you can do part of this assessment is to go into your textbook or look up the information and find the answer. So I need you to multiple to answer the best answer of these nine, uh, 10 questions, five points a piece. All right. That's from chapter eight. So that's the work I want you to do. So what you probably could do is just uh, do all your answers on this Word doc or PDF file folder that I've given you two files, diff different formats, answer the work on the, on the file, save it, and then print it out and bring it to class on Monday. Or you have the option of just save it to your flash drive, bring the flash drive to me on Monday and I'll transfer it to my flash drive and then I can grade it. So a different way of presenting your work this week Week number 10, quiz number four, is you bring your work to class on Monday. Either it could be digital and just we transfer it from one flash drive to another, or you can just print out your work and give me the work as is. All right, so that's our work for this week. And those are the particular chapters that you can, if you have, are stuck and want to find and research the answers. Part one is chapter six. Part two is or question two of part one is chapter five, and part two, multiple choice, is chapter eight. So that should help you do some research uh, for these inf information. And when we come back on Monday, we'll review this work in class, since you're already giving it to me, and then we'll talk about hypothesis testing, chapters 10 and 11 for next week. And then hopefully, knock on wood, we'll have no more miss classes because of Professor Hassey's family or sicknesses or whatever uh, for the rest of the year. And I can almost guarantee that's going to happen because no more. Uh, my uh, father had surgery uh, yesterday. It went very well. He came out of it uh, in a induced coma, which is okay. Uh, and he comes out of the coma later on if today or tomorrow morning. And I'll be staying here through Sunday and then coming back to Southern California Sunday morning. But everything as of now is very good. He's doing fine, he's comfortable. Uh, he is in a coma, but that's induced because of his age and because coming out of a major surgery like that. So all is well there. So I appreciate all your well wishes. So thanks everybody. We'll see you in class on Monday. Again, I'm available if you have any questions, e email me or text me. I am available throughout the end of the week. Uh, I check my email and, and texting all the time. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on Monday, and good luck with quiz number four. Adios.